running it down on these niggas. Uh -huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder, my nigga. You know how we did it, my nigga. Still be painting them bitches, my nigga. Ripping that bro over fucking your bitches. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. 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 Niggas, they never will hurt you. Uh -huh. Niggas, they never will hurt you. Uh -huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. Got the traps right, understand how to get that. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. You ain't never seen none of nigga live like that. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. Niggas. I'm gonna call this little snippet Gang Banging and Human Organs. Some years ago, a friend of mine who's a social worker and a liaison for the police in gang related situations was called to the hospital because the black family's son who was shot were irate and the reason they was irate because they wanted to pull the plug on their son and he was still living so she had to come and calm the situation down but she was curious so she pulled a doctor to the side so what's the deal here why you guys want to pull the plug and get them his parents to sign over his organs so in her own wisdom and understanding, she pressed the doctor. This is what the doctor said. Uh, the most valuable organs for transplanting are, is, are, is a young black male between 18 and 25, 26, 27. He says, white people's organs won't work on black people, but black people's organs are the best for all people yeah man so this thing with gang banging and I heard these reports because I know people from the inner cities of the different towns Detroit Chicago whatever and there have been incidents of what they call a drive-by shooting where the person assaulted or killed was shot in the head what a drive-by guys that only happens in the movies. <laughs> you driving by in a car and you put a shot in the head. Or you shooting somebody and you shoot them in the head. The problem with that is, or the, the situation with that is, is that you don't want to shoot a person in the body if you plan on taking their organs. So how many young black men that have received guns from outside the ghetto there are no pharmacies, no, no pharmaceutical factories, gun factories, and none of that in what we call the ghetto in inner cities. But those things always end up there. So a young black man gets, gets shot. He goes to the hospital. He dies. They take his organs. And there was a situation some years ago down south where they found a young black man rolled up in a blanket uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a gymnasium. Guess what? All his organs were gone. And to this day, a lot of black young black women are going missing. Uh, I wonder what they want their body parts for. Yeah. So check it out. Do your research later. It is not enough to get your children just to read well and know math well. They must read for a reason. They must read for an African reason and purpose. There must be an African intentionality involved in their learning to read and write and to do mathematics. If they are not being educated merely to make more money so that they can spend more money, they, you will never spend yourself out of oppression. As a matter of fact, again referring to the black on black violence, through our habits of consumption, we actually finance our oppression. Yes. We enrich our oppressors, increase their wealth, increase their power and we create and maintain within ourselves a consciousness that maintains our oppression we be, are so caught up in the conscious are so caught up in the consciousness of consumerism that we commit violence against one another in order to engage in consumer behavior we sell poison to our children we corrupt our communities we disinvest the wealth of our communities. And we think that this is an expression of freedom. 
and this is an expression of wealth and status, and this means that we, since we consume equally to white folk, since we drive the same cars as white folk, live in the same houses, in the same neighborhood as white folk, we are the same as white folks, you are foolish. It is that very sameness that is maintaining the inequality. I was trying to explain to my class the other evening the confusion people have of, uh, of uh, equating sameness with equality. You want your children to have the same education as white children. Then if you die children, then if you do, you want them to stay oppressed. Yes. You don't want them to be educated in terms of their unique history. You don't want them to be educated in terms of their learning styles. You don't want them to be educated in terms of the problems they have to solve for themselves. You don't want them to be educated in terms of the reality of the fact that they are oppressed, not white children. No, you want them educated as if they were white children. That is the surest way to maintain oppression, to ignore one's reality and to be educated out of sync with one's reality. The black man today is being educated to solve white folks' problems and to get status when he solves their problem. Yes. A lot of people feel like hip hop. We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those thugs who disgrace our community, our women, who disgrace our culture, and who have absolutely nothing of redemptive value to offer except the legacy of violence and sexual assault and foul language. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Bullis Gotti. You know, this video right here, to be honest with you, right? I wasn't going to do a video, but I had did a video before about black-on-black -black violence, right? But I want to talk about hip-hop, right? Hip-hop's been the deadliest game since 1987. Let's keep it real. It's been the most violent in this game. And it's a, it's a, it's a culture. You got to remember, hip-hop was started off of gang violence, right? The death of black Menji, right? The truce. The truce. <clears throat> I said it. The truce that happened that brought gangs together, all the gangs together in the Bronx, just for, for the culture. And from there... You still have violence in hip hop. Dudes getting killed at the park jams. Dudes getting robbed at the park jams. Dudes getting shot at the, the clubs. You know, hip hop has always had a violent streak. The first person to ever die in hip hop, right? Hip hop culture, right? They'll say DJ Skylar Rock, right? But before Skylar Rock, you had Junebug. But Junebug was a DJ. A lot of people don't know about Junebug. He was a DJ, you know, and he was a he was a he was a drug he was a big drug dealer in the Bronx. And he was he was hustling and he was DJing, right? But that definitely really didn't have that much to do with hip hop, but it was it was the first time you heard somebody significant from that culture die. Hip hop, right? And then Skylar Rock happened in eighty seven, which was an important important moment in eighty seven because that changed the trajectory of Boogie Down Productions, where basically you seen Boogie Down Productions went from making hardcore gangster rap to changing it up to conscious, uplifting raps. You know? Like if you go back, like Skylar Rock and KRS One had a deal with Warner, Brother, with Warner Brothers Records. You know what I'm saying? Benny Medina um, 
and um ink the deal. KRS one and, and Skylar Rock was gonna make crazy money on Warner Brothers. But what happened? Skylar Rock's death. Him getting murdered in the Bronx. And a lot of people said allegedly, you know, a lot of people said that, you know, he got murdered because of the beef with D Nice, but the beef was squash. On the street, they said that, you know, the dudes that run B-Boy Records and the whole situation, it was a hit. You know, um, RoboCop slapped the dude, and the dude shot and killed Scott Rock. Now, this is what the street said, that he did that so that Scott Rock get hit. A lot of dudes said that those the B-Boy Records, he was beefing with them about the contract and he was leaving and they was leaving B-Boy Records to go to Warner Brothers to make a lot of money because they wasn't making the money that they was making, you know, signing the B-Boy Records. They was going to make more money on Warner Brothers Records. But because Scott LeBrock passed away, you know, Karras one went to... You know, job records. You know, when he dropped by by all means necessary in '88, which they had to stop the violence record, self destructive. You know, self destruction came out in '89, and you know the whole stop the violence movement. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward, the '90s come. You know. Afrocentric culture was big in hip hop. Yes, you still had violence in hip hop, but you you had the push of Afrocentric culture, and then gangster rap comes in. You know, West Coast is selling more units than the East Coast. You know what they pushing is <laughs> narrative. All the murders that's happening in hip hop. You know, in the club scene around that time, man. You know, and in the music, you got dudes like Slick Rick going to jail for, you know, dudes trying to, you know, his cousin was extorting him, and, and they was trying to rob him, and, and they was trying to kill him. And he, he went and fired back, and he ended up spending time for that, you know? Hip-hop culture has always been a culture where you had to protect yourself and defend yourself from the wolves, you know what I'm saying? And from Big E to Tupac to Jam Master J to Scott LaRock to Pop Smoke to Stag Bundles, you know, to Nipsey Hustle to Dollar to FBG Duck to King Vaughn to Young Dolph to Mo3. You know, to Freaky Ty, you know, hip hop has lost a lot of artists to senseless violence. You know what I'm saying? Sense of violence, man. And the game, and to keep it real with you, hip hop is one, is has been a culture, man, that. Dudes had to have a strong team behind them. Dudes had to have an entourage. Dudes had to be strapped up because you dealing with dudes that one want to extort you, two you dealing with wolves that are turn on you. You dealing with a whole lot of shit. You know when I hear people say Black Lives Matter, do Black Lives really matter to us? I don't think so. I don't think black lives really matter to us. I think black lives, in the beginning, when people say, oh, black lives matter, do black lives really matter to to us as melanated people? No, they really don't. Because if black lives matter, we wouldn't be going through the predicament that we're going through. Every day we watch the news in the inner cities, it's murders every day going on in the inner cities. You have young people losing their lives at a rapid pace in the inner cities every day. And nobody has stopped the violence. Nobody has done anything to change the trajectory. 
of the community. Nobody has stopped the the the, the tide. It's a tidal wave going on in the community, man. People losing their lives at a rapid pace. And and it's not and it's not it's sad because it's dudes out here in the streets, man. That I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna be all I'm gonna be really real with y'all, right? If you look at the streets nowadays, right? Back in the days, you had a lot of dudes that hustle. The street game is done. The drug game is done. Okay? They legalize weed. The pharmaceutical companies controls the pills. They're having people shoot their dope up. You know what I'm saying? In clinics. You know what I'm saying? Prostitution is legal. Where they have women pimping themselves. The only two things that's left that's illegal, the crimes to do, is murder and robbery. This is why we have more robberies and murders going on at a rapid pace because that's the only thing left for people. Robberies and murders. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad to see, man. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Kids is losing their lives. People is losing their lives at a rapid pace, man. All this is losing. I'm, I'm going to keep it real, man. A lot of rappers have died, right? But they have not died the way they dying so loosely, so freely, and just so chaotic. You got to understand, in 2020, there were more rappers that were murdered in 2020 than a little bit. 2021, a lot of rappers died. 2022, we lost P&B Rock, and we lost Takeoff. PNB Rock lost his life off his jury at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles from a punk, a coward, Lee, crab ass nigga. And I'm going to keep it real. He's a cowardly, crab ass nigga that pushed his son to rob and murder PNB Rock for his jury. Takeoff loses his life off of a $7,000. Loss. Niggas was gambling and off of dudes losing seven thousand dollars. He lost his life from his own, allegedly from his own people. Allegedly, I'm just gonna say allegedly, he lost his life off of seven thousand dollars, and somebody being hot headed started shooting at the people that they all was in the same entourage. Started shooting. And this is what caused take off his life from a straight bullet being an innocent bystander. He lost his life. It's at the point now, man. Enough is enough, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like... We go through so much in this country, man. That we got to do it with self-hate. You know what I'm saying? We inflict pain on each other when we shouldn't even be doing that. We should be lifting each other's crowns up. You know what I'm saying? But we choose not to do that. We choose to partake in ignorant shit and to kill our own brothers because we so we so ego driven and we so motherfucking like in our own way that we don't know how to change ourselves and be men. We so damn emotional that we'll kill each other or for being emotional. There's dudes out here that's, that's emotional, man. They emotional, man. They emotional. And the community is going through what it's going through because dudes don't look at the world for what it is, man. We rather take each other lives off of petty things, man. Whether you killing somebody off of a female, because that's what majority most of the murders is in the hood. 
dudes murdering each other off of a female, off of a look, off of a dude stepping on your sneakers, off of money, off of what a dude said. We not being rational people. We killing off of petty shit. Dudes not even killing off of money. Let's just get scratch the money thing. Dudes is just killing you off of petty things. Looks, you stepping on their sneakers. You talking about them. Or you talking to their girl. We not dying off of nothing. What a cause. We dying just to be dying. And it's straight petty. When I hear people talk about Black Lives Matter, how can black, how you can tell the police in a Caucasian that Black Lives Matter when when they look at our race, we don't even see that our lives matter to each other. This is why I can't I can't be I can't support none of these movements because it's like y'all not out here talking about and I don't give a damn about what dudes talking about all oh, other races do it. No other races don't do what we do. We do it in a rapid pace. Majority of the lives is being lost in the inner city communities are from the gun of us. And it's and it, you look at the penitentiary. A bunch of dudes that's in the penitentiary right now is in there. For either killing somebody off of petty ass words, a look, a uh, stepping on their sneakers, accidental bump, or off of a female. Petty shit is petty shit. Dudes died off of pettiness. Take off God off of pettiness. He didn't die off of nothing reasonable. To be dying, bro. That's sad, bro. That now his his mother, his uncle, which is Quavo, his grandmother, got to grieve they loved one. His mother's brother, little brother, saw his nephew die in front of him. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Even with success, your life don't mean a damn. The melanated men don't mean a damn to their own people, man. Lack of knowledge, lack of knowing, having self-worth cause brothers and sisters to kill each other. Where is the love, man? You should be fixing your other... Your brother's crown instead. You'd rather kill your brother in the street like a dog. Like a dog. And you talking about the police. This is why they kill us. Because they know we don't have no self-worth. We don't have no respect for each other. And we'd rather murder and kill each other every day in the streets. We the most endangered species, man. We not getting old, bro. We not getting old. We're not getting old. As a people, a lot of black men are not getting old, man. They're not getting old. This is crazy, man. This, like, dudes got to do better, man. Like, just looking at this whole situation, it's like, we ain't learned from Nipsey. We ain't learned from Pop Smoke. We ain't learned from King Vaughn. We ain't learned from Mo3. Dude, we look... It, 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 the rapid pace of how many rappers we are losing in three years, in four years. Let me say in four, no, in three, I'm right, in three years. The amount of rappers that we lost in three years from Nipsey Hussle to Pop Smoke to King Vaughn to Mo3 to Young Dolph. Nick Blicky. Trouble. P and B Rock now take off. The amount of rappers we have lost in 2022, 2021, and 2020. That's two years. That's three in, in 2019. 
in three years we have lost that amount of rappers. That's crazy to me. In three years. How was we keep losing that many rappers, man? Pop Smoke was a new artist. He wasn't even in the game yet. He was took it from us. King Vaughn took it from us. Mo 3 took it from us. Nipsey Hussle, doing positive in his community, was taken from us. Young Dolph went to go get cookies. He was murdered. PB Rock went to go eat with his girl. Got murdered. Takeoff was at a private event in a bowling alley. Dude's gambling. He lost his life. Wasn't even doing nothing. Just stood up to look what was going on and lost his life. This is crazy, man. A black life don't mean nothing. You watch the news, our lives don't mean nothing. And people crying about what a race and what America do to us when we do the when we when we oppress each other every day, we oppress each other every day. And we still oppressing each other. You know what I'm saying? We suffer from a lack of knowledge and a, and a lack of self awareness. And securities is the and, 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 and emotional being emotional and being insecure is the cause of what's going on in the community right now. Real talk. Man shouldn't be dead, man. He should not be dead. He should not. It's, it's just crazy and weird to me that this man could never see his mother, his uncle, his 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 grandmother again. Chilling with your uncle and lose your life. You and your uncle dropped the album together. On the 3rd of October. And you end out the month of October. Halloween night going into November 1st. You lose your life. It's crazy. That is crazy. Like I said, man. I don't know, man. I don't really know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's to the point now, man, it's like us as people, man, we <laughs> We picking a litter, man. We 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 picking a litter, man. We ain't We don't We don't want paradise, man. We want hell, man. We want hell. <laughs> 